Bye. Hello, everybody, and good morning from the Maasai Mara here in Kenya. My name is James Hendry, and we have been out since, would you believe it, half past three this morning. Yes, that's what I said. Half past three. <laughs> this morning. Now that we're awake now because the sun is awake, uh, Senzo is on camera today. There he is. Those are his three fingers, one with a really startling nail on it. Anyway, that's the way of things. And this is Senzo's first impression of the great Mara Plains. What do you think, Senzo? I'm really enjoying having Senzo here, of course, because he is a taste of South Africa. He is, of course, a speaker of Isizulu, which is, as we're both discovering, relatively similar to Kiswahili in some ways. Right, let's go back to those elephants. A very large herd of them. They are sitting underneath a number of trees. I will tell you that during the night we saw topi, we saw zebra, we saw elephant, we saw one scrub hare, we saw a number of buffalo, and indeed a small herd of wildebeest. We were looking for lions. We did find one before we saw you. Unfortunately, he disappeared into a bush and went to sleep, and then we also had a very nice black rhino sighting, so we've actually had a pretty good morning so far. Uh, hashtag Safari Live is how you get hold of us, of course. I know you know that, but I'll tell you that it's just as easy for you to ask me questions as it is for you to ask Tristan and Ali as they explore the woodlands of the Sabi sand in South Africa. Now, those elephants are probably at about 100 meters from us. This is a completely no off-roading zone at the moment. So we'll look at them for a little while, and then I think what we'll do is press on and head towards some of the, well, the more sort of watered, marshy spots on the river. Maybe we'll pick up on a lion or two, uh, but yeah, we're just sort of discovering things at the moment. Uh, many of you, of course, have not seen my hat uh, from yesterday. Uh, thank you very much to those very complimenting me on it. I'm not sure it works myself. The reason I have it is not so much so that I can look like Crocodile Dundee or Indiana Jones. It is because the sun here is of a brightness that is really exceptional. We are very high up, about 1,600 meters. No, no, no not quite. Maybe uh, I think at this point we're probably about 1,400 meters above sea level now. And we're also on the equator, which makes for a blindingly hot sun. Uh, but surprisingly, it doesn't, uh, while the light is white, I mean, we, I can't even see the sky, it's so white there. The color remains here rather more than it does in other areas I've been where it gets bright. So I think that's quite interesting. Let's have one last look at the Ellie's, and then we're going to press on. Uh, now, R. Laura Moore, you want to know what Swahili, what the Swahili word for elephant is, and I will tell you that it is very similar to the one that it is in Zulu, and in Shangan it is in Dlovu. It's exactly the same. Now, I, I, you may think, gosh, that's impressive, he's learnt that in two days. Uh, it is, of course, not impressive. I'm staring to the back of the car where Manu is sitting. Manu is uh, helping us out on camera while we're here in Kenya. And uh, he, he is a, a Kiswahili speaker, and so he was mouthing the word to me. Uh, that's how I knew it. Simba, of course, we know is lion from the Lion King. And we've just heard that Pembe is the word for black rhino. Righty, we are going to press on from here. Ali has managed to find herself, well, something possibly covered in a lot of dirt. <laughs> 